Okay, welcome back all you beautiful YouTubers. I'm starting on episode 11 out of my Starlight Drive Settlement build now. And here I'm going to be messing around some concrete before, before I get into that. I had another episode. I had to scratch it because it was uh, to show off my importance of actually quick saving while you're building. <laughs> In, I think, episode 9, I had mentioned how I was working with some neon, and as soon as I closed out of the works workshop after creating the neon, the game completely crashed. Well, I hadn't saved since uh, shortly after creating my bathroom or the communal toilet area, bathroom, whatever, restroom area. And all the stuff that I had created after that was gone. So I decided to just go ahead. I had the video recorded all the way up to the crash, but since I was not gonna go back and recreate all that stuff that had happened, I'm just gonna move on and continue on here. Now, you're probably going to see me fumbling quite a bit. This is the first time I had a chance to mess around with the Wasteland Workshop concrete building functions and dealing with the walls and how they clip on the outsides. I ran into some issues on the inside of the building. Now, I spent a lot of time on this also. So much so that this concrete building is actually going to take up three separate episodes that are about 19 minutes long. Shows off some of the uh, problems I encountered and some of the ways I went around fixing some of those issues. I like the interior that I created as far as the ambience and what I set it up for because I figured, okay, this is the concrete building. It's the dirty kind of concrete. Uh, it's very, I don't know, whatever the term you'd want to use. I don't want to say primal, but urban, I guess. I even tried thinking I was going to maybe create some of those curved walls, but I decided to go ahead and scrap that idea because of the layout that I wanted to do. I decided to make this room, this is my workshop room. It's going to have my weapons, my armor, Upstairs is going to be the chemistry set or the chemistry station, and I don't think I have a cooking station in here. I, think I try and make one at, at one point, but I end up scrapping it. So this is me playing around with some of the different areas, as far as the uh, not different areas, but different pieces that you can use. I know what all the pieces do. I've just never really played with them, but you're also going to see a lot of extra stuff in here. A lot of those extra pieces, like the stuff you see right there that I'm cycling through, was were things that were put in by the Homemaker mod. Some of them actually work with the Wasteland Workshop concrete. Some of them obviously do not. So I kind of came to a creative decision. It's like, you know what, I'm only going to use this stuff, or I'm going to only try to use the stuff that's in the Wasteland Workshop, just because I wanted everything to fit well together. The outsides of the walls were fine. The floor plan, well, floor plan was probably one of the things that messed me up. I went with it and I ended up not really taking anything down and rebuilding, but there was certain aspects of it that I, I guess I wasn't completely happy with. But it turned out pretty good in the end because of how I decorated the inside. Here's where I was like, okay, well, can it be spliced inside or does it have to sit on the outside and if it's going to sit on the outside then it's going to be clipping inside yeah <laughs> I didn't like the corner sections right here I didn't like how the stuff fit in see I can place that down if I try again since I fumbled around with it so much I got tired of dealing with it I was like you know what I'm just getting rid of it I'll just build a square building for now. I'll work on other stuff later.
and I don't like how they the person patched it to the point where the wasteland workshop stuff for me is like beginning of the the menu system and the end of the menu system it's kind of a convoluted pain in the butt but it works and I want to put interior walls in here that's when my problems start to appear I'm trying to think of the best locations I end up putting them in the back wall and this becomes a very I don't want to say dark interior but it's very brooding it's got a lot of uh, firelight and stuff like that that right there is the armor smith workbench this was a mod somebody created that I think I don't believe that it was an actually an asset in the game I think somebody actually created that but in the modding world that is what we use that's what everybody has basically started using so that you can build armor there is an actual weapon smith workbench but I don't think anybody's actually utilized it yet I have it in my list but nobody's actually utilizing it yet I guess the weapon makers are different from the armor makers as far as the modders are concerned because the armor now most of the armor smith armors that you can create are done through the armor smith workbench although some of them I guess they feel that I don't know if they just don't want to use the armor smith workbench and they just use the chemistry station don't know why you'd want to make armor out of a chemistry set but there you go <clears throat> it's up to the mod maker themselves on what station they want to use to create it and even some of them are like well if you want to use the weapon you just gotta pull it down the console and give it to yourself <laughs> this is where I started realizing some of these lines I'm like okay well I kinda like how the lines are going in but when I start to put the floor section above it that's when my problems arise and I know some of you out there that have already been making a lot of the concrete stuff have probably figured it out I wanted to try and figure it out on my own I probably should have looked up some videos and it all boils just it just all boils down to the thickness of the walls cuz I like the hallway I like the little side rooms and one of those side rooms is going to be the stairwell going up and the other one is going to be kind of like well it's a nuke bunker um, pretty sure if some of you have played the story I don't see it as a spoiler but in the military base that's out there by the Brotherhood of Steel Pridwin there is a mission on there where you do it in the basement of the military bunker there's like boxes of mini nukes well that's something you can in homemaker mod it's a, a box that I can actually put on the ground so I kinda turn it into that room I'm trying to figure out how I want to, I wanted to try and snap the steps to the side and I know I've seen it done before I've seen Davey from No, no Respawn actually put the, those set of stairs on the left hand side but for some reason it just did not want to work for me so I was like fine I'll just put it in the center screw it might have been because of how I was placing the wall down I don't know so instead of trying to dork with it on the side I said yeah, but screw it I'll just put it in the center this is where my uh, <laughs> my frustration begins at first glance I don't notice how the floors are gonna not go in the way I want them to and after looking at it now I probably realize you know I probably since that room is just a small room with a stairwell in it I could have moved the wall over to the right a little bit so that the hallway up above in the center of the room can have the floor pieces put in properly and I think I was looking for something in here trying to figure out where it was at trying to figure out uh, it was either roof or it was a floor plan oh okay I was gonna put those in just 
just an aesthetic choice, I guess. And I actually wanted to use these graded floors. Yeah, this is where my frustration comes in. If it would snap on the top, that'd be great. But for some reason it wasn't snap on the top for me. It only snap on the inside, which worked great in here. I figured, oh cool, they snap in. Well, it won't snap in the hallway because the walls are too close to each other. I might actually go back and fix this so that I can do this. But, uh... But that window right there would look off-centered if I put the wall too close to the left, so I don't know how I'm going to work this. Just, it was not fitting the way I wanted it to. I'm trying to remember what I actually end up using. Oh, I, I think I used something that's not in the Wasteland Workshop, but it's a concrete floor. But it basically fit on top of everything. There is an extremely small lip going from one floor to the other. But at the time, I, I was just frustrated to the point where I just didn't want to do it anymore. I even tried putting the wood down. I was like, well, the wood fits into place, but... And only the shack floor does. The normal floor doesn't. That one just fit into it like a glove, really. But it's got a raised surface, and I didn't want the raised surface... giving me issues there too. And here I was also trying to decide, okay, the upper floor, what do I want to do it in? And I figured metal would actually work out well. And these happen to I the wall on the outside it clips into. The wall in the back, I eventually get it to clip into place. Yeah, I'm still trying to dork with these. I guess I could have used my mod to mash it in, but I wanted to see if it would clip. I just did not want to clip because of that front section up there. I just don't understand why these things are, or why they have to be that way. Because I've seen the concrete clip into other concrete so why couldn't they do it with these walls or the floors for that matter that's what I, I think I end up using because those would actually clip in just fine and even clip in other places I didn't really want it to clip in but and you can see the lip there but to be honest with you, I'm the only person that's actually going to be going into this building. I don't see the settlers actually utilizing this for anything, so I wasn't really too worried about it. Here I was testing if it, how far it would clip into different areas. And I was also, if uh, right above the menu, you'll see when I push it back this far, they're molding together and the graphic gets all glitchy and I hate the way it looks. So I realize I gotta pull this one back and move that one into place and it fixes it. It's like, no, get back over here. So this is how I ended up fixing mine. This all I had to do is turn it, I think. If I remember correctly. Come on, just turn it. They're so fidgety. Now see, that's messed up. All I had to do is from a different angle and it went in. But, as I stated, if I probably just had turned it, I think I tried it though. I'm not going to go back and look. In my mind, I was wondering if I wanted to keep it that way or not. 
I like the light it was letting in, but at the same time I wanted to use the second floor. So. If anybody's got any questions or comments, again, just leave the comments in there and I'll answer them. My turret tutorial videos are actually doing pretty well. One of them, and I'm not sure why that one is more popular than others, the Oberlin Station. There are certain secret spots, is what I like to call them, in every single settlement where you can get Mark 7 level turrets or, or you know, like a Mark 5 or a Mark 7 even if the settlement does not supposed to allow you see that space underneath that wall it's the reason why I didn't use those and plus it didn't really go with anything else but there are certain settlements that like in Sanctuary Hills technically you're not supposed to get above a level 1 or I should say a Mark 1 turret but if you are in a very specific spot at Sanctuary Hills, and there is a spot in every single one of the settlements, you can actually get higher level turrets. The higher level turrets, uh, level 1 obviously just shoots bullets. Level 3, I'm not sure what it, what's the difference. Maybe it's just a little bit more armor. A Mark 5 turret has incendiary bullets, and a Mark 7 has exploding bullets. So you can imagine which ones do the more damage. Um, you can check out those videos if you'd like. There are my tips and tutorial playlist. I want to try and add some more because I know there's other locations and they're also level based. Uh, even which is kind of weird, Sanctuary Hills can't allow you. To, uh, doesn't in normal mode does not allow you to put anything higher than a Mark One. But it's also level based. In order to put down a Mark 7 turret in any settlement, you have to be level 40. I found that out by uh, somebody who's actually, they created a mod so that you can individually put whatever Mark version of a turret down in your settlements. And if you're wondering what those circles are right there, that is another mod that I have where actually you can place pipes down and tubes. I haven't used it yet. I've been wanting to try, but trying to come up with a decision on where and how I want to put everything has become kind of interesting to try and figure out. These will not clip until I get the uh, other section in. I don't know why he's even thinking that. Your head ain't going to fit through there. Just leave it open. Oh, I know why I did that. Just to place the wall down. Kind of interesting how these little corner pieces set in here. I'm trying to think, I think I got that from somebody. I might have been Deviant No Respawn. Of course, there's a little corner up there that you can see, but at that point, I didn't really care. Kind of liked how it overhung a little bit. And since they're clipping to the walls and not the floor, it worked out well. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short here. Because it got too long. This episode turned... I had, my recording time was like 40 minutes long. And I'm not going to release a 40 minute video. It'll just take too long to upload. So if you're still watching and you want to click the next episode, I should, it should be uploaded about the same time. Talk to you later.